General Assembly has come back in for the 2012 session and really faced some daunting tasks. Money is coming into the state uh, better than it has been before, so incomes uh, are up, sales tax revenue is up, but we still face a lot of mandates, especially from the federal uh, level when it deals with Medicaid, about $378 million unfunded from the federal government that taxpayers in this state have to pay, another $217 million for unemployment tax relief back to companies in South Carolina. So as we embark on this new year, we hope 2012 will be a good year for us in the state of South Carolina, but certainly we still have obstacles we must overcome. One of the first things we did, which is a positive sign, was sustain the veto of Governor Haley in Senate Bill 211, known as the I-95 Corridor Project. What that does by sustaining this veto is turns this segment back over to the governor. It does not allow it to uh, become really its own fiefdom. Uh, I think this speaks of not only transparent government, but good government. And so while the bill passed the House originally, 84 to 17, uh, really two-thirds this time voted to sustain the veto. So I actually thank the, the public for getting involved at the grassroots level to talk to people about how important it is for transparency in government and for spending dollars in government very appropriately. Because as, as the saying goes, we are only stewards of the taxpayer dollar. Uh, it's your money and we need to spend it as wise as we can. So as we embark on this year, I look forward to a lot of good news days, uh, sprinkled with some bad news, but I think overall 2012 will be a good year in South Carolina.